Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Cooking Semi-Homemade with Joyce. Today I will be making my sweet potato pie. First we have to preheat the oven to 400, which I already have. And I have these sweet potatoes, which I'm gonna put in the oven now. I'm going to have these in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes. And while these are in the oven, I'm going to go to the freezer and take out my pie crust that I bought from the grocery store. So that's part of my semi homemade. And I'm going to take out the butter as well. So the pie crust can be thawing. Getting ready for the potatoes. See you in a minute. These are the ingredients I'm going to be using in my sweet potato pie. I have a half a cup of butter, three eggs, a half a cup of sugar, a half a cup of brown sugar, but mine is light brown sugar, a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of vanilla eggs, and I have a teaspoon of lemon juice. You can use the lemon juice in the bottle, but I prefer to use the fresh lemon juice, which I have here. Okay, the potatoes has been cooking now for 40 minutes. I've turned the oven off. I'm gonna take them out. And I'm gonna let them cool for maybe like five minutes or so so I can peel them and start making the sweet potato pie. Peeling them now and they're still a little hot. So as you can see, the steam is coming off of them. I have to get a pair of tongs. I'm gonna chop them up a little bit just to help the blender out and get some of that steam off of them. And then I'm gonna spin it a little bit on my kitchen stand mixer. Cause I don't like all the stringiness that some potatoes have. I can get it on and then lock it. And you also can use a hand mixer if you want to. Now we're gonna start adding the ingredients. Blend this a little bit. Blend it until it's smooth. And I want the eggs to curdle because of the how hot the potatoes are. The milk, the evaporated milk to cool it down. Or should I do it this way? This one will make sure. My half a cup of sugar. I'm going to add a half a cup of brown sugar, but if it's not 
sweet enough for you, you can add more. I'm going to taste mine once before I put it into the pie shell to see how it tastes. And if I need more sugar, then I will add some. The nutmeg. The cinnamon. The lemon juice. And of course, since I did not measure out the extract, I forgot it. <laughs> now I'm going to add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Ooh. Now I'm going to pick it up for a second just to scrape the sides of the bowl. Get everything in, incorporate it. Make sure there's nothing on the bottom. Good. I keep forgetting to lock. I just want to taste everything to see how it is. A little bit more brown sugar. I'm sprinkling a table to two tablespoons of brown sugar. See how that is. Okay. Let's see how that is. And this is the stuff I was talking about, the sweet potato. It gets all those strings that be left in pies. I hate that when I take someone pie and it has that in it. I'm gonna taste it again. Okay, that's great. This is the way I want it, the consistency. Getting ready to add it to the pie crust. Just mixing it up. Have some left over. I can make a okay. Now I'm gonna put this in the oven. Pie on a the cookie sheet to put in the oven because I put it on the, the cookie sheet because it cooks the bottom of the pie shell and you have a nice brown crust. And I also put on a silicone for around the edges so they don't burn. So in the last, I would say, 20 minutes of cooking the pie, I would take this off so the edges can brown. But if you don't have one, that's fine too. You can use aluminum foil and put around the pie to keep it from burning. Now I'm gonna put it in the shell in the oven for 45 to 50 minutes. And I'll see you when it's done. Now that the pie has, the sweet potato pie has cooled, we're gonna cut it and give it a taste. Wow. I had to go get a plate and a fork to taste it. I hope it comes out right, if you know. When you're trying, and you don't, you want to come out of it. Okay, let's see how the bottom tastes. Good, it's really good. And it needed that little extra sugar, brown sugar that I put in. So I wanna thank you for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And in the comments, tell me some of the things you have added to your sweet potato pie. Thank you again for coming and sharing this with me. And I will see you again on my next upload.